When it comes to valuing a stock over the long term and estimating what returns you're going to see, it really boils down to two things. One, what is the price to earnings ratio that the market is going to value the stock at? And two, how fast is that stock going to grow its earnings? So what I've done is built out a price to earnings slash earnings sensitivity valuation analysis. And what this allows us to do is project the future earnings growth for the company over the next five to six years and the PE ratio that it's going to be valued at. And it will allow us to see our expected total return during that time period, as well as a compounded annual return. So let's go ahead and see exactly how this works and use an example. Now, this was a spreadsheet that was just uploaded over to tickerdata.com for premium members. If you click over on premium sheets, you can see we have an entire library of ready to go spreadsheets used to do things like value stocks, analyze stocks, track your portfolio, and estimate things like how long it'll take you to one day live off dividends. Again, this is available over on tickerdata.com, link in the description. And like always, with these spreadsheets, you get access to the ticker data add-on in Google Sheets that allows you to automatically import stock financial straight into your spreadsheet, which is basically what allows all of these spreadsheets to be completely automated. But let's go ahead and do an example and see how we use the sensitivity analysis. Now let's use Google as an example. What we can do is come up here and plug in stock ticker G-O-O-G. And what we can see is all this data will automatically load in. Now we can see the current share price for Google sitting at about $148. We can see the compounded annual EPS growth rate from 2016 to 2024 was sitting about 24.2%, so pretty explosive growth. But what we can also see is the PE ratio they've been valued at over the past decade each year. So we can see on average, the PE ratio over the last 10 years is 29.06. And typically in most cases, that'll be the number you're gonna to wanna to start with to start analyzing what you think their PE ratio will be in the future. But one of the things you have to pay close attention to is are there any outliers? Outliers, as we know, can really mess up averages. And in the case of Google, we can see right here in 2017, there is a huge outlier. So when you're doing this analysis, probably you wanna remove any huge outliers. So let's remove this and we can now see the average PE ratio for Google over the past decade sitting at about 25.88. Now, here's what we can see. For the trailing 12 months, we're able to automatically pull this in again with ticker data. The trailing 12 months PE ratio is 17.64 for Google. So what we can see is there's a 31, 32% difference between the trailing 12 month PE ratio and the average PE ratio over the last decade. So there's a couple of things we have to think about. One, does this mean Google is undervalued? Well, the market is valuing Google at a much lower multiple than they have over the past decade. Now, sometimes this can be justified if a company is losing its competitive advantage, or maybe their earnings growth projections aren't as high in the future. Sometimes that's justified. And sometimes this can point to a massive opportunity, and our job as investors is to be able to know what the difference is. But again, we're just going to use an example here. So now what we need to do is apply our projected earnings per share growth rate for Google over the next five or six years and enter our projected PE ratio over the next five or six years as well. So obviously, when it comes to projected earnings per share growth, there's a lot of different things you're going to want to take into account. But at the end of the day, this needs to be your projection. Now, to start out, I put this here so we can understand how they've been growing earnings over the past five, six, seven or eight years. And we can see the compounded annual EPS growth rate is about 24.2 percent. So right off the bat, we know they have been growing their earnings at a very high rate. But something you're probably also going to want to do is look at what analysts are projecting. Look at what other softwares are projecting. For example, if we jump over to Seeking Alpha and look at their earnings estimates from analysts, we can see analysts are projecting anywhere from about 11.5% growth all the way up to about 21% growth on the high end, which seems pretty bullish for the stock. But with that being said, we can see there's still pretty high earnings growth projections. If we jump over and look at Seeking Alpha's projection, you can see their forward-looking EPS growth rate three to five years is about 16%. So basically, people still expect Google to grow their earnings at a high rate. So maybe after doing some more research, looking at their industry, and really analyzing the stock, we believe they're going to grow earnings at about 15% through 2030. So I'll plug in 15% right here. So now we have the first part of our sensitivity analysis. And what that allows us to do is see what the earnings per share is going to look like through 2030. By the end of 2030, with 15% earnings growth, it'll come out to about $18.60 per share. Now, what we need to do is apply our projected PE ratio. How do we think the market is going to value Google? And again, this can depend on a lot of different things, such as are they losing their competitive advantage or are they strengthening their competitive advantages? Because if they're strengthening it, then they might warrant a higher price to earnings multiple than what we've seen over the past decade. 
Now, in the case of Google, we can see again, 31 to 32% lower than the last 10 years. Let's just say in this example, we think that Google is going to revert back to its average PE ratio over the last 10 years. So we're gonna plug in 25.88 right here and hit enter. And what we can see is based off EPS growth of 15%, and the fact they'll be valued at a PE ratio of 25.8%, by 2030, your total return would be 225% with a compounded annual return of 21.71%. Now again, this is just purely an example, but what you can do is easily play with these projections and see what type of returns you can get. And it's gonna help you better understand really your risk to reward ratio, because this will make you realize there's a lot of stocks that are a lot more attractive, even if you look at their bear case compared to other companies bear case. So for example, even if Google stays at around this PE ratio, maybe it's 18, what you can see is your total return through 2030 would be about 126% with a compounded annual return of 14.56%. So this is an easy way to play with just two simple projections and get a better understanding of what your return as an investor is actually going to look like. So again, this is a spreadsheet that was just added to tickerdata.com. So premium members have access to it right now. And if you're not a premium member currently, you can get a seven day free trial at the link in the description. So with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel.